Are you a business person trying to figure out how you can get yourself an iPad? Well, we're going to look at five reasons why you should get one. This episode brought to you by GoToMeeting. Hey everybody, thanks for checking out iPad 365, the show where we review an app a day to keep your iPad in play. My name is Jeffrey Powers, and we've got a great episode for you today. First, before we start, I wanted to let you know about our where we, you can find us. Of course, Twitter is iPad365. You can email me at iPad365show at gmail.com. iPad365show at gmail.com. We also have a survey out there over at geekazine.com forward slash survey. Please go over there and tell me what you like, what you don't like about these episodes so I can make changes and we can make it more entertaining for everybody. That's over at geekazine.com forward slash survey. Finally, I, put, I just put up a list over at Listly, L-I-S-T dot L-O-I. It's called the top iPad 365 episodes so far. We are rapidly getting to episode number 100, so I wanted to take a look at the last 90 days and see what episodes are really popping with you guys, what you like, what you don't like. Uh, of course, on the top of the list, we have a few games there, so you can check that out over at list dot L-O-I. Of course, I'll have the link in the show notes. All right. You know, I was talking to a friend the other day and they said, you know, give me one good reason to buy an iPad and I will. Needless to say, I gave them more than one reason, but as we got done with our conversation, I started to really think about it, especially on a business standpoint. And, you know, I used to travel around as part of my job with a large bag of computer gear, but now I have just my laptop and my iPad, and the iPad is pretty much as being the most useful of the two. Because I can pull it out, I can open it up, I can look at it, something, I can close it, and I can put it back, and I'm done. Within five seconds, as opposed to turning on a laptop. Now, I realize there's many businesses on the fence still about buying an iPad for their employees. Why should you buy one? Is this just going to be a toy or is this actually going to be a useful tool? Well, that's what we're going to look at today. And I'm going to show you five reasons why you should consider buying an iPad for your employees. Or if you're an employee, why you should convince your boss that getting an iPad for you, especially you salespeople out there and people on the road, is a very valuable thing. Number five, thousands of apps to make your job easier. Now, whether you're a salesperson, an IT pro heading to a remote office, a CEO showing off numbers to the board or whatnot, there's an app for that. I know it's cliche, but it's true. There is an app for that. You can make your iPad work for you. For example, a couple months ago, I talked about Dragon Dictation, which is an app that turns your iPad into a dictation tool. It also turns it into a hands-free device while you're driving. So you can actually use this. So you can use this to be more productive. You can pull up documents. You can dictate documents. I've done this a couple times where I've, uh, I've uh, hit the Dragon Dictation, brought it up and while I'm in the car, and put out a couple notes. It's very easy and very simple. So it's a great little tool to have. Another tool I talked about a couple weeks back is from a group called Omni. The Omni line, like Omni Outliner and Omni Focus, are great tools for everyday tasks like taking notes, like, uh, like organizing your business stuff. The Omni tools are really great to have and uh, perfect for your iPad. Communication. Now we've looked at apps that'll keep you in full communication to your office, whether it be Skype or a program like uh, GoToMeeting. Another app that we talked about called Text Plus will help you keep in touch with your colleagues, your family, your friends. Uh, and e even if you can't have the phone turned on, like for instance, when I was on the plane going from Austin to Portland, I actually turned on Text Plus and I could actually text with friends and family instead of uh, waiting to get to Portland to actually give them a call. So I could actually be done with my business before that plane lands. And that's a pretty cool thing right there. You can also email on your phone. Uh, but if you think about it, if you have a 10 inch screen to open up the whole email instead of that 4.3 inch screen, wow, it, it's a world of difference. And I go through a lot more email that way. I use my phone too, don't get me wrong, but it's just easier to do on the iPad. It's a no brainer, really. Number three, presentation anywhere. 
With the ability to add a video dongle, or actually now you can go wirelessly if they have an Apple TV or if you actually bring an Apple TV with you, you can have many options to present your ideas. A program like GoToMeeting, you don't even need to be in the same room. There's another application I talked about uh, about a month ago called Printer Pro. I showed you how you could actually print documents from your iPad to the printer so you could actually leave an impression with your client. You print out a PowerPoint presentation or a presentation uh, document that you have on your iPad or even a drawing that you made on your iPad. Number two, downtime. You know, statistics show that if you put a little bit more fun into your business, then you're a little bit more productive. Just as long as you don't play Angry Birds all day, you should be good. Like for instance, I like to play Monopoly while I'm on a long flight. Um, I can also watch a show or, or a movie, which is really nice. Word games like Words with Friends can stimulate your mind, and you might just learn a new word that you can use for a meeting. Now, of course, we're going to tell you the number one app here. But first of all, I want to tell you about a program that I use every single day. And actually, it's, it's a very good reason to have an iPad. And that's go to meeting with HD faces. Now you can actually see the HD faces and participate that way through the iPad. You can also do it on Mac or PC. Um, it's a great way if, let's say, you're on a surprise trip, but you had that 2 o'clock meeting that you just can't miss. Well, you can still do both. You get on the road, you stop at a coffee shop, or maybe you get to the client uh, area, and then you get into the office, you connect up to Wi-Fi, and then you get on GoToMeeting. You can't start the meeting, but if they start the meeting back at the office on Mac or PC, then you can join in. With the HD faces, you can see their face, they can see your face via the webcam. So if there's a problem, you can say, hey, I'm confused, you guys look confused, let's fix the problem. It's a great way to keep in contact. It's a great way to meet when you can't be in the office and you don't have the time to be in the office. Don't take my word for it though. Try it yourself, 30 day free trial by going over to gotomeeting.com. Click the try it free now button and turn the code podcast. Get podcast gets you a 30 day free trial and of course it helps iPad 365. And that's the most important thing to keep this show going. So put it in your business toolbox and see the power of GoToMeeting. All right, finally, information at your fingertips. I think that's probably one of the most important reasons to have an iPad. Now, if you think about it, having info like this from an iPad is, is really a great asset. If someone asks for sales numbers or if you, they want to see the company at work, you can pull it up faster than a laptop and a lot larger than a mobile phone. I mean, would you rather have see everybody huddled around a little mobile phone or an iPad? Really? You can either push it to a video or a screen if you have the right attachments or wireless attachments to it, or just put the, the uh, up on the iPad and put it in the center of the table and let them watch and help share the ideas. Now, I talked a few weeks back about a program called Roambi Analytics Visualizer, which uh, you could load stats from Salesforce, Excel, or another document. So you could actually show them real-time stats, why their company should be looking at your company to help them with the business. They could do it in real time or you, you know you can give them a couple weeks splayed off or whatever you choose to get that sale landed. Now there's one more thing. <laughs> no, nothing. A small thing. Oh yeah, one more thing. And this is probably the most important thing and that is security iPads do have a high level of security and you can set it up, your IT departments can set it up. So if you do lose your iPad, all they have to do is send a, a, a remote signal and your iPad is completely wiped so your data doesn't go in the wrong hands. There's a lot of programs out there that will help you track your iPad if you do lose your iPad so you can then get to your iPad easily and simply. Lots of great features in security, and I think that's the main reason why you should get yourself an iPad over a laptop. So the iPad, if anything, when they turn on the iPad, it's completely wiped and your data is not compromised. And that's, that's a pretty cool feature with iPad, and that, of course, is the security of things. 
And that is five reasons why you should uh, talk to your boss about getting an iPad, or if you are the boss, getting your employees an iPad, your sales force an iPad, your IT group an iPad. Whoever does traveling, they could probably use a tablet. Now, of course, yeah, this is a question, should I buy myself an iPad or should I buy myself an Android, maybe a, a Kindle Fire or something like that? Well, the reality is, with all the other tablets, even with Windows 8 coming out, so far the iPad is going to have the most applications, the most opportunities for you. It's going to have a nice big screen, even a 7-inch screen. I like the 7-inch screens, but I'll tell you something. If you're presenting to somebody down the road, then a 10-inch screen is a lot better than a 7-inch. I'm just saying. So. But anyway, there's lots of great reasons why you should get yourself an iPad, and I think it'll actually help your return on investment for that $500, $600 purchase, especially with the 4G option. I think you can uh, justify that and come back with some great sales and some great business, faster business, easier business. And, and that's, that's what it boils down to, getting your job done quicker and easier. Anyway, that's the show for today. What'd you think about it? Let me know. Twitter me over at iPad365 or email me at iPad365show at gmail.com. Um, let me know if there's anything that you should add to this list and maybe we'll do an addendum in a couple weeks. Like I said, 100 episodes is fast approaching, so please let me know over at geekazine.com forward slash survey. Take its five questions. Take the survey, let me know what you like, what you don't like about the show, so we can make some changes if need be. We will be back tomorrow when we will talk about games, and we've got a nice little game for you. And we'll do that in 24 when it will be another iPad 365. My name is Jeffrey Powers, and until then, geek out. You should follow Graphite on Twitter at GraphiteINC.